morning guys welcome back to my allotment channel my name is emma these are my allotment diaries um i just vlog all about my allotment plot here in south london i have been away camping for five days i've just got back it was <laughs> if anyone's ever been camping before um you'll know that it's not a very restful holiday like physically like it's quite um physically enduring i mean you've quite literally got to put together a house and live in it for a week with children uh, without any running water or heating <laughs> so it's quite physically demanding so I'm a little bit exhausted but mentally I'm feeling really good I feel really well rested so nice to get away from technology to wake up every morning and have to go outside and just stand and make breakfast underneath you know a canopy of trees it's just absolutely lovely we stayed in Somerset um, just outside of a place called Crewkern so it's really like in the middle of nowhere there's just farmland around it there's just cows and sheep just everywhere and just like the total opposite of London and there's like no sirens as well like you never hear sirens you never hear a helicopter go over and um, you don't hear the traffic you don't hear people beeping you don't hear dogs sort of barking and owners yelling at each other like it's just so quiet so that was really really nice and I had a good time I was a bit worried about my allotment plot when we were away because we had a lot of rain. <laughs> it's June today, happy June, happy, um, today when I'm filming is the 1st of June, it's Saturday. Thought I'd come down and check on the plot. I'm wearing a coat and a jumper and jeans because the weather, the weather is not the one. So if anybody could please just remind the planet that it's now summer and please just stop this madness. I mean, oh, look, the door is just, it's trying to keep me off, it's trying to keep me out. I mean, look, look at this weather. This is appalling, it's windy, it's cold, it's gray. But we're just gonna have to keep going with the allotment garden anyway. <laughs> Soon, one, time, one day, we might get some nice weather again and then we'll be ready to go. Um, I did plant a few things in before I went on holiday. So the, the peas, I, I planted in some sugar snap peas. Nothing yet, nothing was kind of secretly hoping to see like a row of them come up but there's absolutely nothing yet so maybe I'm just a little bit premature a little bit too early this thing here is stressing me out it keeps falling down don't know what to do with that oh I need to show you the actual peas because these are incredible firstly look at the size of them how have they got that tall I don't know and look look pea flower we're starting to get flowers aren't they gorgeous aren't they absolutely just like the most beautiful flowers ever they're like sweet pea flowers stunning stunning i can't believe how much these are shot up incredible definitely have a success of the year so far in peas peas good right when we come down here now do you remember in my last vlog i pulled all of my sweet peas out and put new ones in well unfortunately we had a couple of scorching hot days i wasn't here they got scorched <laughs> I wasn't here to water them and I think what they've done is they've died from from no water it's the water that's the issue which is such a shame some of these might come back these ones here are doing okay I think they were a bit bigger a bit stronger weren't they um, but you can see a lot of them have been scorched so I'm gonna have to rethink my plan for this teepee I'm thinking of whacking in some runner beans I reckon runner beans will do well there and they'll be happy there so we'll, we'll do that and then the archway have a look at this archway yeah we do still have some runner beans we do <laughs> somewhere <laughs> yeah we do we do still have some runner beans growing so this is really good they're getting nice and strong now nice and big so they, so they can sort of handle a bit of slug attack you know because they've got this sort of new growth coming up so they're doing okay this year um this year this week pumpkins are all going out pumpkins are all going out my pumpkins at home are in pots and they're starting to go a bit yellow because they really need putting on um, or planting out so I'm going to plant them out and um, flower beds doing okay those two dahlias that I planted in are alive so we will definitely have dahlias this year which is excellent news broad beans are still alive fantastic I planted something in here I think it's um was it leeks and calendula nothing coming up just yet that's okay Right, so I've done a bit of a walk around. The jobs that I'm thinking off the top of my head 
weeding there's quite a few little weeds coming up which i don't like i like to keep on top of the weeds if i can and also i'm going to plant out some more sweet corn today which i brought with me and a couple of sunflowers as well so we're going to do weeding first and get on top of it um, and then we're going to plant out some stuff so that's the plan for today let's do this Weeding can be so therapeutic and I do love doing it when I'm in the right mood. When I'm not in the right mood, it is a slog. <laughs> I just can't stand it. It's just like so repetitive. Oh, um, But when I'm in the right mood, it can just be so good for me and so therapeutic. I'm not in the mood. I'm in the mood for doing something productive and like, you know, I don't know, planting stuff really. That's what I'm in the mood for. So this bed here gets quite a lot of sun and this is where my sweet corn is going to go. Sweet corn does require quite a lot of sun. It's a sun loving crop. So to choose a sunny bed is probably your best hope of getting it to grow successfully. If you can hear yelling in the background, there's a football match going on. I'm quite near a football stadium. Anyway, in this bed here, we've got some anonymous potatoes. These I believe are early variety. There might be two different varieties to be honest, because I've planted a lot of potatoes in this bed before and um, they just grown. I haven't planted them this year, so I need to pull them up because they do not belong here. I'm quite happy for crops just to come up wherever they want on my allotment plot because it's less work for me and it makes it look like stuff's really doing well and growing. Um, but on this occasion, I am gonna pull them up because they're not welcome here. Sweet corn's gonna be here. Um, oh, also, another really quick thing. So in my last vlog where I planted sweet corn, I did mention about not planting different varieties together because you don't get a very good harvest apparently that's wrong <laughs> are you surprised no me, me neither planting different varieties together affects the seed so if you want to collect the seeds and re-sow them next year and you planted different varieties together your seed might not be very good so it's all about harvesting your seeds not the actual corn on a cob is that we call them the cobs um so it doesn't really really matter but anyway my other sweet corn is right over there behind this tree right way over there on the other side of my other plot behind that tree is my other sweet corn so i don't think they're going to be able to pollinate each other anyway so let's just leave it at that really whether it's a problem or not doesn't matter for me because they're not together right let's get these potatoes up and see what's under them a little impromptu potato harvest i doubt they'll be ready but you know it's always fun pulling potatoes up anyway okay Look at that, that is a potato, that is an actual living potato that I did not even plant, that is amazing, there you go, I found some food, it's like I'm foraging at my own allotment plot, we are foraging, <sighs> yeah, it's another one, <laughs> why am I so surprised, it's literally a potato plant, why am I so surprised, they are quite good little potatoes, wow. Harvesting, harvesting potatoes is my number one favourite thing to do, even when I haven't planted them. This is just so fun, oh my gosh, look! Oh, look at those potatoes! That is crazy! Oh, I just love this, I love it. Oh 
right last one to come up and it does look like I've got different varieties here which is absolutely hilarious oh these are more of the red ones look at those gorgeous colors beautiful I don't think any there that's it I think that's a lot oh no hang on you always get a little surprise one don't you you always get a little surprise one how exciting so it looks like we did have two different varieties I actually it was so funny as I remember planting them um, like two years ago I think um, these ones are these lovely red ones can't remember their name pink something pink lady or something I don't know maybe that's an apple um, and then these ones here look completely different variety pretty sure these are main crop and these are early but they're all just grown together that is so cool I just love potatoes is anyone watching this thinking why don't you just grow potatoes Emma like it just brings me so much joy to pull up potatoes but the truth is I am growing a lot of potatoes I've got one two three I've got four beds of potatoes <laughs> I've got three main crop and one early variety going on. I love them, I love them. After that little impromptu harvest of uh, extra potatoes, this is now Sweet Corn City. Sweet Corn City. <laughs> Hello Einstein. Look who's come to see me. It's Einstein. Hello Einstein, oh I did miss you. I did miss you. Yeah. Oh wow, look. Gosh, I'm actually watching it in live action. It's like a David Attenborough show. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> As per usual, I have absolutely no idea what variety of sweet corn I've grown. <laughs> I'm so terrible at remembering the varieties. Um, but they have done really well they're really big I've left them for very a very very long time um, and that's what I'm doing with my crops this year a lot of my crops I am oh hi Einstein you scare me when you do that <laughs> um, I've left a lot of my crops to get very very big this year so when you see the pumpkins this week you'll see how big they are they are huge and that's on purpose because I think the bigger your plants are and the more roots they've got established the more likely they are to survive against slugs and snails and stuff um, and bad weather and everything so my sweet corn are quite big I've also brought them I'm sure you've noticed in a giant squishmallow bag. My kids are absolutely obsessed with squishmallows. So birthdays, Christmas, all they get is squishmallows. Um, if you know, you know. And if you don't, you probably don't want to know because they are ridiculously priced. Best stay out of it, I'd say. I've got loads here. I don't know how many I've got. Let's lay them down and try and figure out some kind of grid system. Grid system, right. Right, so it turns out we've got 11. I seem to be very, very good at growing odd numbers of plants. That's fine, whatever, that's cool. I think that's quite a nice little grid system there. So we're just gonna whack them in basically as are. I think I've accidentally already killed one. I think I lent on him. I think I've snapped him. Do you think he'll come back? He might come back, right? Maybe he'll grow new leaves. Oh, so now we're down to 10. Sweet corn out. Sweet corn round two.
Right, so these are the sunflowers that I have been. <laughs> Look at this one, this is propped up with a knife um, because I didn't have any sticks at home. These are the giant sunflowers that I grew. Now I did grow three, but one of them actually snapped in the wind in my greenhouse because I sort of opened the top of it. So obviously it's taught me that they need a lot of protecting and tying in to stop them from snapping because um, they are quite flimsy still. They do still need to move in the wind, sunflowers, because when they move, when their stems move like this in the wind, it actually strengthens them and makes them stronger so they can keep themselves up but I need to tie them in so they don't snap so you need to get it sort of right between not snapping but also strengthening god I just scared scare every time you come near me you scare me so much look how close he is look look at this crazy alright there he is absolutely none of it he's flown the furthest away from me that he's actually flown all day there's no way there's no way he doesn't trust me and I don't really trust him oh, I do not trust him I'll put him on his little table instead right okay what is that was that him oh my god now you come now you come <laughs> are going to absolutely love these they're going to go mad for them i need a digging device where's my um where my spade is hang on dodgy fork yeah, slugs are going to be so excited to see these go in they are yes my favorite has arrived sunflowers why can't i get it out the thing you don't want to come out. He's like, no, please. Please, Emma, no. like this like um, that needs supporting like tomatoes or sunflowers it's best to get your support in straight away when you plant it um, mainly because you'll forget otherwise and it will snap before you've had a chance to but also because you're less likely to disturb the roots of the plant when you do it that way just always best to get everything that you need for a plant in straight away I, I'd say I'm not always good at doing that myself but I like to give the good advice to you because if you're watching this for advice that's the right advice I don't always do it myself, but I'm a rebel, I'm a gardening rebel, you know. Anyway, <laughs> they're in, they're in. But how long will they be protected from the slugs and snails? They are gonna love these. My husband is going to be so confused when I come home with this knife. He's going to be like, why have you got a kitchen knife with you? What did you use that for at the allotment? It's been propping up a sunflower for about three or four weeks and he just hasn't noticed it's gone because I just had to use what I had. I didn't have any sticks. <laughs> I didn't have any sticks, so I used a knife. Yeah, that makes sense. Right, I better call it a day there and get home because it is actually Saturday and I'm not normally here at the weekend because that's kind of family time. Sometimes I drag the kids and my husband down here but it's not that great weather today. The sun's sort of trying to come through but you know, it's not summer is it guys? We really need summer just to hurry up now because we had such a terrible spring. I think we deserve at least some sun this summer. That would be really, really nice. <laughs> Hope you've enjoyed my vlog. If you have, subscribe to my channel. I will see you again on Wednesday. Have a lovely gardening week. Fingers crossed, the summer turns up. Any time now. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.